State's Jackie Slater is live in the newsroom tonight with details on how troopers here were assisting in the search for the suspected bomber. Jackie. With an intense manhunt underway in nearby Massachusetts, police here in Connecticut were also on high alert, and state troopers were deployed to strategic locations throughout the state to help keep the public safe. All along the highways in Connecticut on Friday afternoon, it was clear this was no ordinary day out on the road. Every sort of five minutes or so, you see the, a group of uh, well, police cars or so passing by, and that's of course unusual to me. State police troopers were sent out to locations across the state in case the suspect crossed into Connecticut. Increased police presence was especially noticeable at the state border. Billboards flashed with wanted signs for the suspected bomber. Throughout the day, drivers were warned to be on the lookout for certain cars in connection with the investigation. During the investigation, there was one car for one reason. Further on in the investigation, once that was found, there was another car possibly for another reason. Our responsibility certainly is to help them find those vehicles. State police say in situations like these, the public can play a significant role in catching a suspect. There's no magic in law enforcement. I mean, it's using the public, and the public is very important. Uh, we say go about your business as you normally would, but be observant. At the rest stop on I-91 South in Wallingford, drivers told News 8 that they had been paying attention to media reports and were keeping their eyes peeled. Are you looking at other cars? Yes, I would say so, absolutely. Yeah, kind of, you know, just looking to see if, if kind of match the description of the, uh, of the perpetrator. Drivers from Massachusetts also faced the added pressure of being under watchful eyes. Bye. Sabrina Palmer said she felt other drivers were looking into her car to see if she was the suspected bomber. If I was from, you know, other states, I'd be looking too if it was, you know, other people. So I, I, I don't blame them. We now know that suspect never made it into Connecticut, but when I spoke to state police earlier today, they said that the efforts today by troopers as well as the vigilance of the public shows that this system is definitely working. Live in the newsroom, Jackie Slater, News 8.